Welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday of the 10th week of Ordinary Time and the Memorial to St. Barnabas, Apostle. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us adore the Holy Spirit, for He has spoken to us through the prophets and teachers of the Church. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us adore the Holy Spirit, for He has spoken to us through the prophets and teachers of the Church. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send His loving kindness. By night, I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? 
So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing come of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the Son of truth and justice, shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes, that we may discern your glory and the many works of your hand. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, and in which you stand firm. You are being saved by it at this very moment. I handed on to you, first of all, what I myself received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, and in accordance with the Scriptures, rose on the third day. Barnabas set out for Tarsus to look for Paul. Once he found him, 
He brought him to Antioch, where they met with the church and instructed a great number of people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Barnabas set out for Tarsus to look for Paul. Once he found him, he brought him to Antioch, where they met with the church and instructed a great number of people. Let us sing a fitting song of praise to our Savior, who destroyed the power of death and made clear the path to life and immortality through the gospel. And let us petition him in humble supplication. Strengthen your church in faith and love. You gave wonderful guidance to your church through her holy and distinguished teachers. May Christians rejoice always in the splendid legacy these teachers have given to your church. When their holy pastors prayed to you, as Moses had done, you forgave the sins of the people. Through the intercession of these holy pastors, continue to sanctify and purify your church. You anointed your holy ones in the midst of their brothers and called the Holy Spirit down upon them. Fill all the leaders of your people with the Holy Spirit. You, Lord, are the sole possession of your holy pastors. Grant that those you have redeemed with your blood may always remain in you. Strengthen your church in faith and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you filled St. Barnabas with faith and the Holy Spirit and sent him to convert the nations. Help us to proclaim the gospel by word and deed. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Monday of the tenth week of Ordinary Time and the Memorial to St. Barnabas, Apostle. Morning Prayer is produced in Fort Worth, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>